Good morning. What is the time of Jacob's trouble? Have you heard of that? We're in Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 1 to 7, and here's a future prophecy of something called Jacob's trouble. Listen. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaks the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write in a book for yourself all the words that I have spoken to you. For behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will bring back from captivity my people Israel and Judah, says the Lord. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. Now these are the words that the Lord spoke concerning Israel and Judah. For thus says the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask now and see whether a man is ever in labor with child. So why do I see every man with his hands on his loins? Like a woman in labor, and all faces turned pale. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So back in Genesis, Jacob and Esau have this battle over the birthright. Jacob basically schemes and steals the birthright from Esau. He has to go into exile to save his life, and he eventually comes back later. On the way back, Esau's coming for him, and there's going to be a cataclysmic struggle, and and Jacob wrestles all night with this assailant. It turns out that it's, it's God, and he is, he is victorious. Jacob is victorious, and he's renamed from Jacob, which means supplanter, to Israel, which means a prince with the victory with God. And so this is a struggle that Jeremiah points to as something that all of God's people at the end of time will need to experience something like this. So it's called the time of Jacob's trouble. Notice again the warning that Jeremiah gave us there at verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. This is a time that is uh, remarkable. There's nothing really that quite parallels this experience. And then it goes on to say, it is the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And as we go on the next day or two, we're going to get some more pieces of this. We're stopping here at verse 7. But this is an important struggle for us, and we're going to need to be right with God. So in the end of time, there's a little company, a little group left. They are resisting Satan's supremacy. And as Jacob struggled and felt totally inadequate, we will look back at our lives and see very little that looks good, very little that looks like it's even acceptable to God. And yet we will battle and fight for our lives. We will be pleading with God to help us be repentant. All around us, civilization will seem like it's failing. We're going to see ourselves as potentially a risk of dying of starvation or dying by violence, but God will come to our rescue. If we just submit to him and surrender to him, if we are faithful He will get us through, and we also will be victorious with God. We need to draw close to Jesus, and this is the day to do it right now. This is our moment to prepare. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be in your kingdom. We want to do your will. Uh, We certainly do seem to be living at a time when the situation around us is dissolving rapidly in an unprecedented way. But Lord, we want to just trust in your way, uh, be on your team, be in your plan, be talking to you day by day, be in your word day by day, Lord, growing and, and learning how to be followers of Jesus. Help us to come closer and closer and closer to you, Lord. So be with uh, each hero. May their day not be a day of discouragement, but of encouragement as we see the day approaching, this day of second coming coming. Lord, may we strengthen our pathway as people who are seeking Jesus. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Thank you. We need not fear. You are in control. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So look out at the horizon, believer. The ground is shaking. The times are trembling, but God will get us through. Let's draw especially close to heaven and make certain our salvation through Christ.